What's up, everybody? Doc Dark1985. There's levels to this. I know. I know. I don't have my tank top on, but it's uh, it's nighttime. It's cold, and uh, I live with a dictator that has like a anti thermostat thermostat policy. So don't worry about it, though. Don't worry about it. I I control stuff here. Okay, so. As soon as everybody goes to sleep, I'll turn up the heat again. But anyways, that's not why we're here. Okay. Title of the video. A few months ago, man, yeah, a few months ago, I made a video about, or maybe more than a month, probably almost like a year ago, maybe. I made a video about, you know, how excited I was that uh, GameStop was closing because I'm a budget gamer. And I was thinking about all the savings and all the, the, the price drops and everything, right? Well, come to find out, GameStop is not is not dead. It's not dead yet. Now, if you're a PC gamer, I mean, you probably don't even know what a GameStop looks like anymore. You probably haven't been in GameStop in a minute, right? But for us uh, console peasants, we know what GameStop still looks like. However, if you're a console gamer and you have a PC, you probably just order your games anyway. So... You still might not know what a GameStop looks like, but but this is what the next generation consoles did. Okay, they are giving GameStop a chance to actually succeed with this new generation coming out. And if GameStop is smart, they'll take heed and they'll listen to my advice. This is free advice, GameStop. So maybe an executive will run into this and they'll take this advice and. Man, GameStop would be saved, and maybe you could kick kick me back something. I don't know. Whatever. But but check this out. This is how I believe GameStop can be saved. They need to jump on the fact that these new consoles are still gonna have physical media, right? This is what they gotta do. This is what you gotta do, GameStop. Okay. Now I don't know how you're gonna do this, but this is what you gotta do. Okay. You cannot sell games, brand new games that is, you cannot sell brand new games at the same price that Walmart is selling them, that Target is selling them, that Best Buy is selling them, or that any other retail store is selling them. You can't do that. You're, you have to have a very big incentive for me to want to leave my house and go to your store specifically to buy a brand new game, okay? That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. Now, used games, I don't I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how much used used games are going to sell. But and, and here's here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. If you're able to get people to buy uh the new games from your store, right from your store when they're done with it they'll come back and trade it in see this is what you got to understand the consumer right now is literally willing to spend money buying something digitally and not being able to get any money back because you can't return it right rather than going out somewhere buying it and then being able to trade it back in so think about that game stop think about that the incentive to leave my house what is the incentive to leave my house I don't want to leave my house. I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to see people. I want to go online, get the game. That's what I want to do. But if a game online is $60 and a game in your store is $40, that's a big enough incentive for me to go. That's a big enough incentive for me to go. So that's it, GameStop. Cheaper prices. That's it. Now, the question is, how do you do that? I don't know, but all I know is that this generation so far, you're lucky that Sony and Microsoft both have decided to have uh, optical drive, which means there's going to be physical games. We don't know what the next generation after that is going to look like. You know Microsoft is not opposed to it. Microsoft literally has a console out already that's all digital. So you're, you're lucky, GameStop. You're lucky. Now, for me, as a budget gamer, I don't want GameStop to close. I don't. 
I like going in there and looking at the 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 twenty and under little thing that they got or it says buy five for twenty. Oh, I love that. I love that. I like when see like like games. Um, they bring them back used, and it's you know pretty good discount from the brand new version. I, I mean, GameStop, you gotta be realistic with yourself. I don't, I don't even think I've ever bought a brand new game from GameStop. Now that I think about it, I don't think I have. So you're gonna have to be able to entice people to buy the brand new games physically, and then trade it in so that then you can sell that for a profit. Again, how do you do that? I don't know. I'm just letting you know what you need to do. Because here's the deal. More and more or less people are going specifically to GameStop to buy a game. When I could go to Walmart as I'm going grocery shopping and get some milk and then, oh, snap, that new game is out. And I just go get it from there if it's going to be the same price. Think about it, GameStop. Short video today. Nothing too crazy. Got to go to bed. Trying to see if I can save GameStop so I can save my uh, budget gaming mindset. Doc Dog, when I need five, you already know there's levels to this. And when it comes to saving money on games and saving companies, GameStop, listen to your boy. We out. Peace.